Hello, how's it going? On today's video, we're going to learn how to flash PX4 to Pexhawk by using the command line. This is particularly helpful when you're trying to build a change from a branch or your local changes. It's very important to mention that everything you're going to see today can be found on the official PX4 documentation found on docs.px4.io. Right off the gate, I think you should get started by setting up your development environment in case you haven't done so. You can also find instructions on our documentation on the sidebar. I'm gonna show you where to find the right links right now. So make sure you find toolchain installation and you identify the operating system you're using and follow the guides. There's also helpful videos. We're gonna go to the instructions for building software. And um, if you have a chance, please read through the whole guide. There's really helpful information there to get you started with your first build. But the important thing is uh, if you scroll down, you'll find the Nodex baseboard uh, targets. And these are important because those are the actual build names for the hardware that you are trying to build for. In this case, I have a CUAB B6X that I'm going to be building for. I'm going to first make sure that I have the latest changes on main and I'm going to pull from upstream. All right, I'm going to update my sub modules. Once the sub modules are updated, we're ready to start building. Now, like I mentioned before, it's very important that you know what the build name for the hardware you have is. For most PEXOC FMUV6 architecture, the right target name is PX4 FMUV6X default. We're going to hit enter and we're going to wait for the build to finish. Now, if you have any doubts about the target names, feel free to go to docs.px4.io and find all the build names for all the hardware that we support. Build is about to finish. And while it's wrapping up, I think the next step would be to flash the Pexoc with this build. Now for that, we're gonna need to connect the Pexoc through USB to your PC. For that, make sure you find the USB port on the side of the Pexoc. Make sure the cable goes all the way in and the ELEDs are flashing. Now for the actual upload section, let's go back to the docs. And if you remember correctly, there is a second argument that you can pass to make that is called upload and that will erase flash and verify the build on the pexhawk and uh, we're gonna run that right now and wait for the pexhawk to be flashed and the flash is wrapping up and as soon as it completes we're going to need to verify that the actual firmware version that we wanted is installed on the Pixhawk. And for that, we're gonna be taking advantage of QGrand Control Vehicle Summary page. And we're gonna be opening QGC now and waiting for it to boot and detect the Pixhawk. Now, it's important to mention that this video was recorded while 1.14 was in development, and that is what QGC is reporting. This means the build was a success. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.